Coffee Teams for the Rosalyn, my castle in the making. And you're here today to shoot some pictures for me of my history, of my art, and where I'm going. Right this way, huh? Beautiful home you have here, Carl. How long have you lived here? Um, I started working on this eight years ago. I'm still working. Beautiful house. And I just got a present, a rock. The rock. Yeah. I'm making a garden. It's not complete. How much does this rock weigh, Carl? I have no idea. It took a forklift to put it there. Not a forklift, it took one of them back holes, them huge back holes. Yeah, man. So it's under construction. I see. I just laid out the idea. A beautiful rock in the middle of a beautiful castle. So. And this is Big Black. <laughs> Can't miss Big I'm Black. Carl, where have you been in the world? Places? Mm -hmm. Not too many. Um, mostly um, been to Canada, mm -hmm. been to Mexico, mm -hmm. been to Hawaii, mm -hmm. and mostly here in the United States. Lived in California for 30 odd years. Mm -hmm. And I um, have had several, several businesses. Mm -hmm. Several lifetimes, so to speak. Mm -hmm. You know, as varied as automotive, um, body fender, own the shop, um, upholstery, own the shop. Um, taught in several colleges as a guest lecturer, um, including UC Davis. Um, wrote a magazine, published a magazine, which was distributed nationally. Um, let's see what else I did. Oh, work for the Department of Corrections, four different prisons, youth, females, and drug addicted uh, males, and um, the criminal insane. So I've been exposed to a big slice of humanity. A lot of friends of mine. <laughs> <laughs> At their worst. But I have to tell you this secret. Some of those people were some of the nicest people I ever met. That's true. And very polished, some of them. And very intelligent. Very intelligent. Just got caught up in the system. That's right. There was um, Tower Power, the, the lead singer. Mm -hmm. He and his brother were locked up there. Rick Stevens. Wow. Both of them. And. Uh, People used to come in to see Rick and you think they're coming in to see a celebrity, which is in essence they were. Mm -hmm. But he carried himself in such a way that the Department of Correction sent him all over the state of California to represent them playing music. Mm -hmm. uh, so Charles Manson was locked up at uh, Vacaville. And you met Mr. Manson? Oh yeah, I met Mr. Manson. Wow. He referred to me as a nigga lieutenant. <laughs> wow, that's deep, Carl. That is deep. <laughs> Which, of course, didn't upset me mm -hmm. because I was in charge. I was running the place where he was living. So I just said hi and smiled and kept walking. Uh, yeah, this is the Sanctus Sanctum. Like the Catholics like to say. And it's a work in progress. I love my house. Mm -hmm. I have done a lot of things to it. When I got it, it was a total plastic place. Mm -hmm. And this is my stair, my Hollywood staircase. Mm -hmm. And again, this was a basket case. It was totally destroyed when I first got here. Where you just rested your, your hand. Um, the finials are going to be, I'm making them, they're um, going to be a sphinx, a male and a female sphinx. But um, most people don't know that uh, Nubia preceded um, Egypt as a civilization 
and that many of the things you see in Egypt actually were in Nubia before. The Sphinx, if you look them up, you'll see that the, they are complete. The faces aren't destroyed. And that's what I'm going to put up here. Where are we now, Carl? And this is my dining room. Mm. And that is my grand aunt. She did the repair on. Mm -hmm. And you can see I love cars there up there. Mm -hmm. All around. Uh, some of them I've owned. So some of them I just wish I'd owned. This is my grand uncle. Mm -hmm. So this picture is, these pictures are easily over 100 years old. Easily. What year specifically? What about this elephant here? Oh, that was a gift from my friend. In what country? Uh, that looks like the Savannah, my friend. Savannah. And the chandelier that you have here, Carl? Chandelier? Oh, okay. The chandelier I bought locally. Um, went to Akron, actually. Mm -hmm. And I purchased it down there. Mm -hmm. I love my chandelier. Mm -hmm. um, Yes, um, that is usually my chair over there. Those windows, however, mm -hmm. were all missing when I bought this home. Mm, beautiful stained glass. And, yes. So, um, I couldn't find the original replacement, so I decided to make my own. And these are my creations. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful car. How long did it take you to do these? This one took up maybe three weeks. Mm -hmm. I didn't keep track of time because you know you get work and it just flows. But they're unique in that um, the representation of the African experience. Uh -huh. The um, that one, uh -huh. which is the second one that I did. Uh -huh. If you look carefully, you'll see a dinkra signs uh -huh. there, 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 and there. Uh -huh. Now these signs. Um, oh, there and there. Uh -huh. They're used by the um, people of the West Coast of Africa, uh -huh. um, and which is Ghana and the um, Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast, and um, buried in here uh, different um, little experiences. This reminds me of home, just a palm leaf. Um, these are what we call these are birds. We call them doctor birds in Jamaica, but um, they're actually hummingbirds. And uh, these signs escapes me now exactly what each one means. But um, they use these and clothing in Ghana and um, the Ivory Coast. So this one, um, I'm very impressed by the Endebele people of South Africa. Mm -hmm. They, um, the women, the women uh, create the buildings, uh -huh. which you see a little piece of up here. Uh -huh. They build and then they decorate the buildings, each one uniquely de decorated. Uh -huh. And this is the traditional gear. Uh -huh. This woman, however, is a Maasai. You notice she's taller. Maasai tribe. Yes, the Maasai. You know, she's taller, and her outfit is different. Uh -huh. And um, these are planets. Uh, they say we came from some planets. <laughs> hey. <laughs> anyway, um, at least the Dogon people of Mali. That's their explanation of where we came from. This here, um, different times of day. We have a sunrise with a pink. Sun rising, it's blue skies, uh -huh. and these are meadows and hills, the sun setting. Uh -huh. So, this one is called the tree of life. Uh -huh. It's the boabab tree. These trees are so large uh -huh. that they people live in them. Mm. They actually make put doors on them and live inside. Like that movie made by um, the famous movie Avatar, where they people lived in the 
tree. I did see that. That yeah, was yes. a tremendous science fiction movie. The whole planet lived in one tree. Okay, well, you know, there's some and basis. And the tree in communicated fact. life. Yes. Through, through its roots and tendrils, and the animals had tendrils, and they was all connected, showing the symbiosis yes. between Gaia and the spirit. Okay, I didn't know that story, but it's an interesting Avatar, story. Avatar, it's a great movie. The animals live in here and feed from the fruits, the humans feed from the fruits. They use the leaves as food and medicine. Uh -huh. So it's, that's why it's called the Tree of Life. And it always has water. If you run out of water, it's, it's, it's in the savannah. This one, a friend of mine suggested that I do something that's tropical. Uh -huh. So this is the last one that I did. Uh -huh. By this time, I had improved my technique, I had improved my um, way of doing things and my concept. So, um, it's a typical tropical sea, coconut, sailboat. Island, man. Island, 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 banana, banana leaf, and you know, flowers. Okay. Uh, in here. This is an interesting easel here. Yeah, it's, it's broken, so I'm gonna fix it. Mm, that's very beautiful. It's an artist's easel. Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. Made of mahogany? Yes. Yes. Um, let me turn on the light. Okay. Um, it's a work in progress, so things I do. Mm -hmm. I did a parade here in Cleveland mm -hmm. um, for four years. Mm -hmm. This is one of the uh, pieces I made for the children to carry. You can imagine a group of different children carrying these on. Mm -hmm. Colored by them in their own personal uh, way. Um, this is called a chihuahua. Mm -hmm. um, uh, made by the Dogan people of Mali. Mm -hmm. And they say that this is the entity that taught them how to farm. Wow. In a simple way. This is the male. There is also a female. Mm -hmm. but, um, basically, that's it. I fell in love with this piece of sculpture. I first saw it because it's so intricate and so striking, yet in a way it's simple. So when I have my next parade, we'll be having these. Um, Some of your pieces, very yeah. briefly. This is a Rastaman. Rastaman. Yes, but I, I reversed it. I went from black to white, and um, I that, like the... That's a beautiful image. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, but I did, because of the, the symmetry, I just made everything kind of abstract. Mm -hmm. Next piece. This mm -hmm. is a father and son. Now, this here has a lot of history because I was sick in the hospital. Mm -hmm. I was hospitalized for like two months. Mm -hmm. And I started sketching in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And when I was released, I painted this picture. That's a beautiful picture. Yeah. I know this is the first painting I painted. Um, I was like 28 years without making a painting, and this was my first one. Mm -hmm. This here is my granddaughter, mm. Ebony. Mm -mm. It's beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. how, uh, how long ago did you do that? Uh, that has to be 20 years old. Mm -hmm. This one. 
is my conception of Mary. Uh -huh. And if you notice, um, she's very African. Uh -huh. And the background and the um, animals that are in there, is, um, they're all African. And this is my conception of the manger. How long does it take you to create that? Usually most of my paintings take about, if, if I work every day steadily, take at least five days, okay. some more. Next one. Again, the South Africans fascinate me. I forgot which tribe this is, but this same neck gear is worn by some of the people of South Asia. Mm -hmm. But this is an African, this it's, is actually someone I And they know. stretch their necks, yes. Yes. It's in Guinness Book of World Records. That's right. The world's longest necks are worn by this tribe. Well, it, What's amazing is that the women of South Africa wear this and the women in South Asia wear the exact same uh, um, what's called, uh, jewelry. So I'm fascinated <laughs> as to how we got there. This is only a very small portion of my paintings. This one is uh, the choir. The choir. Yes. Beautiful. I was commissioned to do this one. Uh, the sculptures here. No, those aren't me. I'll show you my sculpture. Um, and while we're at it, I've received extensive coverage from a number of newspapers when I was in California, more so than here. Even though I've been featured in um, the Plain Dealer, the Crusader, the um, Call and Post. Call and Post, yes. Mm -hmm. um, this one again is Solano Magazine, another newspaper. Mm -hmm. uh, when I started doing my um, Kwanzaa cards. Very nice. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, this. Um, this is called, this piece is called um, Truth from the Soul. And this is uh, another Rasta man at work. I agree. Rasta man. <laughs> yeah. And of course, he's doing what they usually do. A lot of them, anyway, play music. Or so oh, this. Uh -huh. um, I went from Windows. Doing these, this is an unfinished one. Oh, oh. It's beautiful though. Thank you. This one, this one is also unfinished. Oh, oh. Beautiful work with glass. Beautiful glass work, girl. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. And, let me see. This is my only abstract. This is my only abstract. Wow. And it um, represents uh, the Dogan people again. Mm -hmm. As it is above, so is it below. Mm -hmm. That's what those symbols indicate. That's the name of a movie. Is it? Mm -hmm. And this, this series of figures here, I've done a lot with them. Um, in different um, situations. Uh -huh. This happens to be uh, titled Let the Music Take You Higher. Oh, that's and a beautiful piece. Each color represents a different tempo of music. Uh -huh. So, like the, the red is a Latin beat and the, the, uh, the color represents, you know, heat. Cool, from cool to hot jazz. Here we are. This is called Friends. And I think it's self explanatory. It's, you know, it just shows friends. That's a friendship. Beautiful car. So, Carl. 
Yes, How sir. can somebody uh, get in touch with you? Well, you can reach me at um, you can reach me at um, June Plum J U N E P L U M seven four four at gmail.com Telephone number two one six seven nine eight. Thank you very much for joining us. And this has been a surprise, picture man. <laughs> hey, Carl. <laughs> he caught me off guard. He said, Mr. Williams is a good friend of mine and a classic and a great artist and a great gentleman and a scholar, ladies and gentlemen. So there you have it. Once Thank again. you very much, picture man. All right. Oh, uh, if I might add one thing. I published for a number of years um, a magazine which went um, nationally. It's, it's called um, Black Culture International. And I'm still, I still have an interest in it and I plan to uh, put it on YouTube like most people have or put it on the internet. Um, I think it reaches more people and I can be more effective. One of the things that um, is concerning me right now is that we have such negative press. We are under so much stress from so many directions and we don't know what to do. So I'd like to put out a new show, which is called Good News. And it'll be good news from the African diaspora, from Africa to the Caribbean, telling all the great things that we do and all the accomplishments that we have in spite of. Thank you very much. Thank you.